Welcome to William R. Boone High School Auditorium for our presentation of Rock On. I'm Robin Schertz, Theatrical Director, and I'd like to introduce our new Choral Director, Ms. Karen Twitt. Thank you, Mr. Schertz. It's a pleasure to be at Boone High School this year. We've had a lot of interesting experiences, and it's great to get to know these kids and work with them. This is going to be an interesting musical for you tonight, and I want you to know that all the lines that you hear tonight are new, and they were written by Mr. Schertz in our drama department. We don't know We don't know whether you realize this or not, but this is the largest combined effort that the Boone Drum Department and Choral Department have ever done together. And it's really a tribute for all the kids, our stage managers, everybody pulling together and really making this the best show that we've ever seen. Okay, we'd like for everyone now to get on the edge of your seat, get all excited, and, and let's all rock on! on.
Hey, baby boy. Hi, Dave. Hey, you going to the soda shop? No. Soda shops are square. <laughs> Nothing ever happens there. Well, I hear Mr. Carter has a new sandwich shop. Maybe that the uh, <clears throat> captain of the football team. You, Cookie Boy? What's it made of? Ham and bologna? <laughs> <laughs> really funny, Dave. It's so funny I forgot to laugh. No, really. Uh, that's quite an honor for a joke like yourself. Nothing. Ever since we started high school, well, things have been different. Yeah, I know what you mean. With me, it's motorcycles. With me, it's models. With me, it's chicks. I'm not you it's chicks. <laughs> you have problems with the days, Libby? That seems hard to believe. Well, remember when life was simpler? I mean, everybody had the same likes, the same dislikes. Yeah, like, like bubblegum cars and pants. Ties and fire trucks. What we need, old buddy, is something to bring us together. The brain and the grind. The cool and the crazy. So few of us have both. Hi, guys. <laughs>
Bobby just came on over the radio. And I'm so happy. Oh, I know. Isn't he the dreamiest? If only you could find someone like him, like I have. You have? But does he look like you? Uh-huh. Fix his clothes, take off his glasses, comb his hair, change his voice, and he's just like you? <laughs> okay, who is it? Norman Feldman? Oh, well, lie. Uh, you know what they say. Oh, I don't know what they say. Something about beauty being in the eye of the... Whatever. So are you meeting with the dance? Great, I'll see you there and then. Remember to bring your dancing shoes. Thank you. 
roll hanging. Oh, shut up, bro. I was talking A burst of temper, my mind. Andy Hardy grows up. Sorry, I don't know why I'm out today, but you see, I've got... Goodies? Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, something's bothering you. Where was the, uh, happy-go-lucky man about town I used to know? You see, it's Belinda. I gave her my test for a and I had a bookman jacket to get a song to her, and now she wants to get all mushy. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, uh, go home run? Oh, come on! <laughs> Not even first base. Okay, so this has really got your bug, huh? Yeah, she listens to all these rock and roll songs on the radio and gets all icky going along. And when I'm not, every song I hear reminds me of her. Yeah, I can uh, think of one song now in particular that reminds me of Belinda Belinsky. I'm the only Wolfman. That's just my problem. 
appearances. What do you mean? You see, I've got this girl, and her name is Belinda. I see. And she likes me, and I like her. Mm -hmm. But some of the people at school don't think I can keep a girl. They call me a... A nerd? Yeah. A geek? The drip is bad. Yeah, too bad. Come on, <laughs> This Belinda, this... She call you nerd? No. Who calls you nerd? Uh, some of my friends at school? I would call them friends. How about other people at school? Let's see. My sister? The old lady down the street? The guy who runs the hardware store. And even my dog sometimes looks funny at me. <laughs> these, these people. The, I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? Was, I did. Snorm. I'm sorry to hear that. What? I said glad to hear that. That's me, Snorm. That's what I'm sorry to say. These are the people, and your dog, of course. Do you go on dates with them? No. <coughs> Do they decide whether you feel good about yourself? No. Are they going to put food on your table or a roof over your head? No. Are they going to help you get into college or help you find a decent job? No, but that's what you're saying. And even if they weren't responsible for those things, they wouldn't know the real me. That, right now, is reserved for... Belinda! Exactly! As you go through life, you're going to find out that the people who really care about you are the ones who really care about you. Whoa. Thanks, old man. No one will ever believe I met the real old man, Jack. Really? Where is he? I've always wanted to meet that guy. Oh, I get it. <laughs> See, the old man is a very private person. We can't have everybody in the world come to him and have a problem, right, can we? No. It's just that every once in a while, a special person comes along and the old man comes out as a dandy. Help bring people together. Yeah, bringing people together is what it's all about. That is the great thing about rock and roll, man. It's music that communicates to all of you. And I hope rock and roll will be around for a long while. I heard that. Amen. Dad control, smoking, hot, which will eventually blow up the house. 
climate change, the country, because we love it. And yeah, we don't want to lose it. That's why a lot of our songs are about unity and brotherly love. It takes a lot of love to stop the war.
Thank you. 